Hey legends, welcome back to X40 FPS, it's your girl Syra. So you opened window settings, searched for device card, and it's just gone. No switch, no option, nothing at all. Let's talk about why it disappears and how you can check if your PC actually supports it. Okay, first things first. What is Device Guard? It's a Windows security feature that locks down your system and only lets trusted apps run. It uses virtualization to create a secure environment. Pretty smart, right? But here's the catch. It's not available in all editions of Windows. Windows Home? You won't find Device Guard there at all. Windows Pro? It's partially available. You can turn on some features through group policy. Windows Enterprise? Yep, that one has full support. And for Windows Education, it really depends on the sub-edition. Some support it, others don't. So yeah, if you're using Home or most education versions, Device Guard just won't show up because it was never included. Now let's talk about the hardware side. Even if your version of Windows supports Device Guard, your system still needs to meet a few technical requirements. Here's what it needs. A UEFI-based BIOS, secure boot turned on, a TPM 2.0 chip, that's your trusted platform module, and virtualization support like Intel VTX or AMD V. So what kind of CPUs support this? If you've got an Intel sixth generation or newer, like Skylake and above, or any AMD Ryzen processor, your system most likely supports everything you need, as long as virtualization is enabled in your BIOS. But if you're on an older processor, or if virtualization is disabled, Device Guard might stay hidden, even if your edition supports it. All right, wanna check if your system can use Device Guard. Here's how you do it. Step one, click Start, type System Information, and open it. Scroll down until you find Device Guard Properties. If it says something like Virtualization-Based Security Not Enabled, you'll need to turn a few things on manually. Now open the Group Policy Editor. Click Start, type gpedit.msc, and press Enter. From there, open Computer Configuration, then look for Administrative Templates. Expand it. Now go into System. And finally open Device Guard. Inside there, you'll see settings for things like virtualization-based security, code integrity, and credential guard. If your system supports them, you can enable them from there. Yeah, Microsoft didn't exactly make this obvious. It's like a feature that only shows up if your PC passes all the hidden checks. So, now you know why Device Guard might not appear, which Windows editions support it, and how to check if your hardware qualifies. If this helped, hit that like button, subscribe to Explodey FPS, and drop a comment if you want a tutorial on Credential Guard next. Stay sharp, stay safe, and as always, don't trust that random downloads your friend swears is clean. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.